Hi, today we will discuss omega-3 fatty acids. Omega-3 fatty acids are three types. They can be denoted as ALA and EPA as well as DHA. So in this video, we will see what is the ALA, EPA and DHA and what is their structure, notation and what is the configuration of the carbons at the double bond. How these omega-3 fatty acids are useful in the body. So first of all, let us see what is omega notation. Suppose let us take a, a fatty acid and this fatty acid is having the n number of carbons. And actually we have to give the numbering from the carboxylic acid because the carboxylic acid is the principal functional group. But if we are going to give the numbering from the other terminal, so suppose here 1, 2, 3, we can observe one of the double bond at the third position from the other terminal. That means the first double bond is present at the third position from the other terminal. So this fatty acid is indicated as omega-3 fatty acid. So simply here, omega indicates the numbering from the terminal other than the carboxylic acid. So when we give the numbering from this terminal, the first double bond is present at the third position. So this is a omega-3 fatty acid. And suppose this fatty acid is having the n number of carbons, then this fatty acid can also be denoted as n-3. That means the first double bond is present at a position n-3. For example, this fatty acid is having the 18 carbons, then the first double bond from the other terminal is present at the 18 minus 3 that is at the 15th position. So that is the n minus 3 notation as well as omega notation. Now let us take another fatty acid here and let us give the numbering from the other terminal 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. Now you can observe that the first double bond is present at the 6th position when we give the numbering from the other terminal. So this is the omega-6 fatty acid. And this omega-6 fatty acid can also be denoted as N-6. Again, if N is equal to 18, then 18 minus 6, that is 12. At the 12th carbon, we can observe the first double bond from the other terminal. In this way, fatty acids can be denoted as omega-3 or omega-6 fatty acids. But here in this video, we are going to discuss about the omega-3 fatty acids. Cis and trans configuration. Whenever a double bond is present, the groups may have either cis configuration or trans configuration. So suppose this is a fatty acid with n number of carbons and different number of double bonds. And here we have indicated one of the double bond here. And at this double bond, what is the configuration? If we see the carbons adds into this double bond, one of the carbon is on one side and another carbon is on the other side. That means both of these carbons are on the opposite sides. So this is a trans configuration. Similarly, if you take another fatty acid like this, and again it is having a double bond here. And what is the configuration at this double bond? So carbon on one side is like this and on another side is like this. You can observe that both of these carbons are on the same side of the double bond. So this is a cis configuration. So in the fatty acids, the double bonds may be present at a trans configuration or cis configuration. But in the omega-3 fatty acids, all the double bonds are present as cis configuration. How they are derived in the body? Now how these fatty acids are going to be derived in the body, whether they are essential or not essential. So we know that two fatty acids are essential in the diet. They are not synthesized within the body. They are the linoleic acid and linolenic acid. So linoleic acid which is supplied in the diet, it can be converted into other types of fatty acids within the body and linoleic acid can bring the series of omega-6 fatty acids. On the other hand, linolenic acid can produce the omega-3 fatty acids. That's why linoleic acid and linolenic acid are the essential fatty acids and if these fatty acids are supplied in the diet our body can synthesize both omega-6 fatty acids as well as the omega-3 fatty acids and here both linoleic acid and linoleic acid are the c18 fatty acids the first one is having the 
two double bonds at the 9 and 12th position whereas the second one is having the three double bonds at the 9, 12 and 15th position. Now let us see how these are going to be obtained from the external source. For example, flax seeds, soya beans are the rich source of the linolenic acid. Linolenic acid is the essential fatty acid. And fish oil coming from the marine source is rich in the two important omega-3 fatty acids. So fish oil is rich in the EPA as well as DHA. Because of these two moieties, fish oil can be used in the treatment of uh, hyperlipidemia. Now what are the health benefits? One of the important effect of the omega-3 fatty acids is to decrease the triglyceride levels. They can control the cholesterol levels within the body but their main effect is in that decrease the triglycerides. As the triglycerides are decreased and cholesterol is going to be controlled, so these can decrease the some of the cardiovascular disorders. Atherosclerosis is one of a cardiovascular disorder in which the fish oil has proven some of the benefits because of the omega-3 fatty acids like the EPA as well as DHA. Similarly, these omega fatty acids are going to decrease the inflammation by decrease the prostaglandin synthesis. That's why these drugs have again proved beneficial in the treatment of rheumatoid arthritis. Among these effects, omega-3 fatty acids are going to decrease the risk of cancer as well as they're going to decrease the eye disorders, Alzheimer's disease, macular degeneration and they have a number of uh, health benefits and when these are going to be included in the diet, they can decrease the inflammatory disorders as well as lipid related disorders. Now let us go with the first omega-3 fatty acid that is the ALA. What is ALA? Here the LA indicates is the linolenic acid. But the linolenic acid is present in two forms as alpha linolenic acid as well as the gamma linolenic acid. Alpha linolenic acid is the omega-3 fatty acid whereas gamma linolenic acid is the omega-6 fatty acid. So here the ALA, A indicates alpha. So ALA is the alpha linolenic acid which is a omega-3 fatty acid so which we are going to discuss right now so ALA is the alpha linolenic acid so this is the structure of the alpha linolenic acid and we can see it's a polyunsaturated fatty acid you can see that here it is having the three double bonds and let us give the numbering according to the IUPAC rules so we have to start the numbering from the carboxylic acid so one two three four five 6, 7, 8 and 9. You can see that the first double bond is present at the ninth position from the carboxylic acid terminal. Then 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So it, this is a 18 carbon fatty acid with three double bonds. So here we can observe the double bonds at three positions. ninth position, 12th position and 15th position. And you can observe that these double bonds are not conjugated and two single bonds are there in between the two double bonds. That means these uh, double bonds are not conjugated. And what is the configuration of these double bonds? You can see that at the ninth position, the double bond is having the cis configuration because the groups are on the same side as well as the twelfth position again on the same side as well as fifteenth position again on the same side. That means uh, all the three positions, the cis configuration is present. So we can indicate this as all cis configuration and what about this fatty acid whether it's omega-3 or omega-6 let us give the numbering from the other terminal so one two three we can observe the first double bond at the third carbon from the other terminal so this is the omega-3 fatty acid and uh, since this uh, fatty acid is having the 18 carbons we can indicate this as octa deca octa is the 8 deca is the 10 so octa deca is the 18 carbon fatty acid since it is having three double bonds, we can indicate this as triinoic acid. So that is a complete name of this alpha linolenic acid, which is the 9, 12, 15, all cis octadeca triinoic acid. So this is a 18 carbon fatty acid with three double bonds. All the double bonds are having the cis configuration and it is having the first double bond from the other terminal at the third position. So it is the omega-3 fatty acid. And again, you can observe that it can be indicated as N minus 3. That means that first double bond from the other terminal is present at the N minus 3 position. So here N is nothing but the 18. So 18 minus 3, that is a 15. You can easily observe that the first double bond from the other terminal is present 
at the 15th position when we give the numbering from the carboxylic acid. So this fatty acid can also be indicated as N minus 3. And uh, since it is having the 18 carbons along with three double bonds, so this fatty acid can also be indicated as 18 is to 3, where 18 is the number of carbons and 3 is the number of double bonds. So this is a 18 carbon fatty acid with three double bonds and it is a omega 3 fatty acid and the double bonds are present at the 9, 12 and 15th position and all the double bonds are having the cis configuration. So this is the ALA alpha linolenic acid. Next, let us go with the EPA. What is EPA? EPA is the eicosapentaenoic acid. So this is the structure of EPA, eicosapentaenoic acid. Again, we can start the numbering from the carboxylic acid. So one, two, three, four, five. So here you can observe that the first double bond is present at the fifth position from the carboxylic acid terminal. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 and 20. So this is a 20 carbon fatty acid and we can observe the five double bonds at the fifth position, eighth position, 11th position, 14th position and 17th position. The position of these double bonds always differ by the three. So 5, 8, 11, 14, 17. And you can also observe the configuration at all these double bonds as the cis configuration. So this is a 5, 8, 11, 14, 17, all cis configuration. And again, if we see the double bond from the other terminal, the first double bond is present at the third position. So this is again omega-3 fatty acid. And since it is having the 20 carbon, so it is called as icosa. Icosa indicates the C20. And it is having the five double bonds, so pentaenoic acid. So that is the name of this EPA. So EPA is the 5, 8, 11, 14, 17, all cis icosa pentaenoic acid. And just like the ALA, EPA can also be indicated by the number of carbons and the number of double bonds. So since it is having the 20 carbons and five double bonds, so it can be written as 20 is to five. So 20 carbon fatty acid with the five double bonds and all the double bonds are having the cis configuration and the first double bond from the other terminal is present at the third position. And the third one is the DHA. DHA is the docosahexanoic acid. So this is the structure of this docosahexanoic acid. And again, let us start the numbering from the carboxylic acid. One, two, three, four. Now you can see that the double bond is somewhat shifted towards the carboxylic acid. The first double bond is present at the fourth position. Then 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21 and 22. That means here chain length is also increased and we can observe that it's a C22 fatty acid. And it is having the six double bonds at 4, 7, 10, 13, 16 and 19th positions. And again, if we give the numbering from the other terminal, we can observe the first double bond at the third position. So again, it is a omega-3 fatty acid. And since it is having the six double bonds with all cis configuration, we can write it as 4, 7, 10, 13, 16, 19, all cis configuration. And since it is having the 22 carbons, so we can write docosa. Docosa indicates it's a 22 carbon and six double bonds as hexaenoic acid. So that is a complete name of the DHA. So that's about this omega-3 fatty acids. We have three important omega-3 fatty acids like the ALA, EPA and DHA. ALA is the alpha linolenic acid. EPA is the eicosapentaenoic acid and DH is the docosahexanoic acid. All these are the omega-3 fatty acids. These omega-3 fatty acids are having some of the health benefits by decreasing the inflammation in the body, by controlling the triglyceride levels, as well as controlling the cholesterol levels. And they also maintain the balance of the prostaglandin biosynthesis. By all of these, uh, they can decrease the inflammatory disorders. And we can also get these omega-3 fatty acids from the external source, particularly fish oil is a rich source of this eicosapentaenoic acid and doxahexanoic acid. Flaxseeds and soya beans are the rich source of the linolenic acid.
so that's about this omega 3 fatty acids if you like this video please subscribe to our channel thank you for watching